Good morning. Please excuse the washer in the background. I am trying to get some extra tasks done before getting ready for work. That said, the reason it is so dark is because it is 7.30 in the morning. Um, now you're probably thinking, why the heck are you filming at 7.30 in the morning? Well, I decided that since I don't know how much time I'm going to have this week to do extra things or whatever, um, I back up a, get, a bit. Um, I typically have like basically essential closing shifts. Um, I get out at either 8.30 or 10.30. Um, I'm going to drink a little bit every single day. And um, that's how it's more or less been since reopening. Um, I have all this week, except for today, today's the only shift that I am working two to 8.30. I have all this week opening and credit crew shifts, which I have not had, or I've given them away, <laughs> um, ever, really. Um, I, fun thing though about it is I'm actually working at a different place every single day. I'm working at Hollywood Studios one day, I'm working at Magic Kingdom another day, I'm working at Epcot another day, and then I'm working at the TTC, which I've heard a lot of good things about, so I'm trying to be positive about that one. Um, that and I've never worked at the TTC before, so that ought to be interesting. Um, they are all in credit cruise shifts, which I was under the impression that full-timers weren't going to be scheduled anymore. Um, for those who are wondering, credit cruise shifts are basically the yellow shirt people who walk around and tell you to wear face masks and be social distanced from each other. Most of them are um, children's activities cast members. As of right now, I believe some of them are also entertainment. Um, there are also some other types of roles. I don't know which roles, but they wear striped shirts um, and they walk around carrying a sign that basically says like stay six feet apart or wear a mask. So, but those are not in Credit Crew. Um, and Credit Crew is supposed to be the positive, incredible crew that is trying to keep you to stay incredible during the pandemic. Are you gonna run around like a crazy person while I'm vlogging again? The kittens have been nonstop running around and I'm like, people are sleeping, you need to stop. Um, but anywho, um, I thought, I don't know if how well this is gonna go through, but we're gonna try and make an effort anyway. Um, I am not going to do your traditional vlogmas vlog every day until Christmas um, that I typically do. Um, every year it kind of is a strain in one way or another and or um, it just kind of is like one extra thing to do during one of the busiest times of the year. With 2020 being so inconsistent, especially when it comes to work. And especially since we're expecting larger numbers and larger crowds, which means we're going to be busier than we have been in a very long time, um, I don't want to add one more thing to have to do. That said, every time I look back at Vlogmas every year, I very much appreciate that I did it to begin with. Um, although I do notice and remember me being tired or me being, you know, not happy in that moment, and that's something I don't want to remember. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to try and do a 12 days of Vlogmas. Um, they're not going to be 12 days consistently. Um, I might vlog every other day. Um, I might split one day into two. We will see what I end up doing. Um, today is actually technically November 30th, but I'm counting this one as day one. Um, excuse me. Just because it's going to be a very chatty vlog um, and... I'll take what I can get. <laughs> so, um, when it comes to work, a little generic, how do I feel about work? How am I feeling about work? I, we just finished getting off of our week long vacation. This is my first day back. And I promised myself that I was going to go in with whatever they gave me. And I wasn't going to, um, like I wasn't going to like, try to give away shifts. I was going to try and keep the hours that I have not call out unless I'm dying. Um, you know, and like that said, cause I have been calling out for like mental problems as well. Really Mocha? Really? Really? Why do you have so much energy? One moment. Okay. 
put them away in the closet again because that calmed them down before. Um, what was I saying? Um, I haven't been happy at work um, since reopening. I've kind of been doing this. I've like had moments where like I'm happy and content and then have moments where things have changed and I've gotten to the point where like just don't be comfortable because my problem has been where I've things have changed I've gotten comfortable to the change and then things have changed again um, and it's either like stressed me out because I thought I knew what I was doing and I didn't know what I was doing and then I beat myself up about it so it just turned into kind of like this roller coaster of a you know I'm happy at work and then like I'm too stressed I just want to do something tangible simple that I feel like I can do right and I feel like a lot of that is just me putting pressure on myself so what I'm doing now is I'm going to go to work and have no expectation other than the fact of we're gonna turn positive situation or we're gonna turn negative situations into positive situations and we're just gonna try and have a good time because let's be honest cleaning the pool telling people to keep their face masks on and really doing activities is not that difficult um, I know a lot of things go into it that can make it stressful and make it difficult but it's very easy to or it can be very easy to kind of like twist your mind and your viewpoint and being like well I'm just gonna take this day and I'm gonna enjoy myself like I don't want to have to work all over the parks and have to figure out how the parks work because a lot of the parks like at Hollywood Studios I haven't been to in almost six months at this point so I don't know what's changed I don't know where things are I don't even remember what's open and what's not open um, but I'm trying to look on the positive side of I haven't been there in a long time I definitely haven't seen the Christmas decorations up there and I didn't think I was going to this year so that's exciting um, and I also have the opportunity um, well, I'm going to try my very hardest to try and find a lot of my different friends and say hi that because I, I haven't seen them in forever either um, Magic Kingdom I love working at Magic Kingdom so that's exciting um, Epcot I've worked at Epcot multiple times it's the only place I've worked at for Incredible Crew so I'm comfortable there so that is a positive I know what to expect um, and just try to look at it as like every day is going to be different in a good way um, and look at it more of a like it's an adventure type of a thing I know that this year since like moving to Wilderness Lodge I have wanted to just find a home find somewhere I can sit down and settle and just stay there until I either get bored or I'm not happy with where I am I know children's activities is the role for me because I enjoy it so much I get like so much just gratitude and like it's very fulfilling to me um, and I know this that this is just a this is just a time period in which I think that the role is experiencing growing pains because of all of the reopening and changing and moving around of cast and so on and so forth and I foresee change being a consistent for unfortunately what seems like the foreseeable future you know until we recover completely from COVID um, that said, <laughs> um, I need to just kind of accept what I get and go with it. Um, and again, like I said, just trying to look at things positively. I know one thing that I personally have realized with myself is um, I don't breathe. And this is really weird. So like when I get really stressed out, I don't even realize I'm doing it. I realize that I'm holding my breath. Because when I'm really stressed out and I have a moment where I realize I'm stressed out and I have a moment to like stop and take a couple of breaths I realize how tight my chest is and I feel like that's where a lot of my anxiety attacks have come in where I'm holding my breath not realizing I'm holding my breath and then it was just like everything else just kind of like dominoes effects falls down and causes an anxiety attack because there's stress from that and I'm not getting oxygen so on and so forth and so and it also kind of goes with like the me trying to be efficient because I like doing things quickly and then I'm like I'm not stopping to rest as well with that and so that's another thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to every hour like give myself a moment where I can step away step aside from someone 
and just stop and take three deep breaths. Um, you know, like do the inhale for like, I think it's seven, no, inhale for five, hold for four, and then exhale for eight, I think is what it is. And just do three of those breaths and I typically feel 10 times better than I did before. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to get that out of the way. That is kind of like my goal for the rest of the year. Just kind of roll with the punches, which I know has been something that I've been trying to do since reopening. Um, but now I feel like I kind of have a, a hold on it. Also, along with that, is trying to set aside a time for chores when I am home. And then setting aside a time for myself. Um, making sure that I am getting that, you know, time of like, whether it's rest, sitting and just doing nothing, whether it is some sort of exercise. That's another thing is I've discovered that when I get really anxious, um, sometimes I just have to walk the energy off. I think that's why I enjoy running so much is because I'm running that like, anxious energy out of my body. Um, and like finding outlets for those things, whether it's coloring on a coloring book, whether it is actually drawing and working on a project, um, whatever it is. Unfortunately, editing videos has not been something that I've really been enjoying as much. Um, I get a, a kick out of uploading it, but it feels more like an, a homework assignment that I have to do than like, you know, a project or something that I enjoyed that I created or like something on my Etsy shop or whatever. So. Um, kind of along with that, I was reading the Balanced and Beautiful book. I feel like I go through this book like a couple of times a year. It's a five day challenge where like every day you have a different word. Um, and they pretty much just kind of, it's like a reset, a reset for your mind, spirit, and body. There's recipes in there. There's exercises in there. Um, there's like mental and emotional practices in there. There's connection options, book suggestions, like literally everything you possibly can need for all of those it's refresh motivate inspire energize and relax and i seriously not sponsored at all i just love them it's by the tone it up girls go and get that book that's the only tone it up thing that you purchased from them i think i've mentioned this already go get that um but i've already realized that this vlog is going to be very long so i'm going to go through this very quickly um while i was journaling and going through this um, I sat down and I, I think I also, um, something else that I also discovered, it's a quick side note before I get into this, um, I found online um, some like mind dump journal pages. Um, I found like a variety of them. I found them on Pinterest. If I remember, I'll put the link in the description below for the one specifically that I found. But I printed a bunch of them out. I shrunk them so they're about like this big and printed them out and I fold them up and be folding them up in my pocket and putting them in my pocket. So when I'm at the pool, um, when I am, you know, at work during credit crew, um, and like there's no one around or like there's nothing to do, um, specifically like at the pool and stuff, or just when I'm on my break and I need to just get thoughts out of my head. Um, or change my change my train of thought. I'm gonna take the piece of paper out, look at it. Maybe not necessarily fill it out right then and there, but like think about it. Um, so like while I'm scanning for people who are wearing who are or aren't wearing face masks, or may have a question or whatever, I have something for my thoughts to fall back on. Because that's another thing is I've discovered that when you're just wandering around at the pool all day, um, you know, and the guests maybe not be very interactive with you. Um, you know, my thoughts tend to, they always end up at the end of the day falling on some negative, depressing thought, and I end up ending my day feeling awful. So whenever my thoughts start to go that way, I'm going to take this out and try to, like, redirect my thoughts. And it's just a bunch of random things. Some, some of them are gratitude, some of those are things you're thankful of, some of them are, like, positive projects. That said... Um, I thought of two things that I want to do more. I want to work out more on my free time and I want to design more. I kind of made like goal plans here. So for I want to design more, um, like kind of battle plan. I want to design a printable project or a beautiful sellable print um, at least once a month. Um, something that I can sell. And so week one, my goal is to sketch out a design with a pencil. Um, and look for look at Pinterest for 
for inspiration and such. Week two, start drawing it on my iPad um, and finish some sort of first draft. Week three, fine tune it, make variations if need be. And then week four, finish my project and transfer the files to put online. Now, I realize that this is something that I may not be able to do every single month, but I like the project style outline because this is very similar to what I did in school, um, which school time was a very happy time in my life, especially during my senior year where it was all art classes. Um, and this is very much how we followed it. Um, when it came to designing some sort of plan uh, every week that pretty much was what our week assignment was um, So I have made it's another thing is since I've been using my Apple watch a lot lately I've made reminders and I've made battle plans um, And I realize again that these plans may not come to play But it's more like a reminder of like hey remember you have this fun project that you want to work on You know try and work on it a little bit at a time and if I work on it like an hour or two because it really doesn't take me that long to do these projects. If I work on it like an hour or two a week, like that's enough to fulfill this. Um, and it's more like to be positive motivation to do something else and to focus my energy on something else other than YouTube. Another thing, I've discovered that I watch, wait, you, ugh, I watch YouTube way too much and that I need to start listening to music more often. I do listen to music at work when I'm at children's activities. Um, but I don't always get to do it when I'm in, in credit crew and um, I don't almost don't get to do it at all when I'm a pool rover because there's no music provided and so I do have to say with the Christmas music at Boulder Ridge I do thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy that anyway my second kind of goal project is I want to work out more I need to take care of my body um, before stressing it whether it be mentally or physically. Um, with Crew and the pool roving, my legs have been worked out a lot, and so a lot of time my feet are really sore, so I can't go running, which is really sad because I enjoy running. That said, I, do, I did want to work on my upper body strength, my abs and my arms this year anyway, um, so that is a focus that I need to have. That said, I need to do yoga stretches. Yoga stretches are very important and I need to do them every single morning. I actually forget to do yoga a lot. I've been really bad about that this year since reopening, which is probably why my legs hate me. Um, but that's something I'm trying to put into my morning routine. That said, with me having to wake up so early all this week, um, I've laid out like a plan of like all the different tasks that I need to get done and then the time frame that I have to get them done in. Um, that was kind of today's practice. I don't have a early shift today, but I practiced getting everything done within the time frame that I needed to get it done. Um, and yoga was one of them. Acknowledge that work is also working out. So if I can't get a workout in that day, I'm good. I did work out. That's very true. I often forget that my job in itself is very active. Um, it may be on some days not as active as I would prefer, but there are very many days where it is very active and I need to remember that so when I come home and I'm like, oh, I wasn't able to get a workout in by the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. I still got a lot of steps in, burned a lot of calories. Abs and arms should be my focus to give my legs a break. Five to ten minutes should do. This is very true. I've been on my break, my week break, I was like, okay, I'm going to work ten minutes. At ten minutes, if I want to stop, I'm going to stop. Like, I still burned like a good 100 calories with a lot of the 10 minute workouts that I did. And that's that's a lot. No, it's not burning 200 calories, but like, wow, oh, you're being very loud, machine. Um, and so finally, rest day. I need to find one rest day where I'm lazy because I deserve it. I often forget to give myself that time for projects and things because I'm like, I need to get this done, I need to get that done, I need to get that done. Forgetting that I do deserve time off. That's one thing that I feel like I keep forgetting is like I'm just focused on what needs to get done instead of taking care of myself. Um, and then I put like a little tag down here. Um, it's okay to have one day to run because I also deserve it and I love running. And then also reasons for all this is to be healthy and to keep my body strong and also keep my mind strong. So anyway, I'm going to end. I've been talking for 15 minutes. I didn't realize I've been talking for 15 minutes. Um, side note, Christmas shopping. Um, Christmas shopping. Small businesses. If you can shop small businesses, please do it. 
Um, I'm just gonna flash right there <laughs> um, my small businesses purchases. I have shopped at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 22 different small business shops on Etsy or elsewhere I have shopped for myself and also for Christmas presents. Um, some of those I got more than one thing, some of them I got just one thing. Um, I made this list and what I got so that way I know what to look out for because <laughs> that's, that's a lot of things. Um, but I highly recommend it. I have never felt so good about spending money um, for someone who works hard and well deserves it. Um, that said, little tag, I have uh, downloadable printables that I am going to be adding um, to my Etsy shop. And I also have t-shirts and face masks and other fun little things on my Teespring shop. Um, so go ahead and check those out as well. If you buy, get your shopping in like this week, the first week of December and then the next week of December. Um, and you'll be able to get them in time for Christmas. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful time. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to be vlogging. I'm going to try and do my 12 days of Vlogmas and then probably take a break. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please, please, please remember to wear a mask um, or at least take it with you. <laughs> Bye, guys.